Good evening, YouTube friends and fans. If you recognize the black stuff on the ground, that's not a good sign for a man that wants to snow blow with the blizzard coming. Stay tuned, and I got a great story for you. Well, they say the snow apocalypse is coming, but we'll see what it turns out to be tomorrow. I'll keep you in tune with all this. Had to take the tractor in last two weeks ago, actually. And needless to say, didn't know if I was going to get it back in time for the big snowstorm. We're expecting about 10 inches of snow and 40 mile an hour winds, so this ought to be real impressive sometime tomorrow or Sunday. I'll get this bad boy unhooked in the garage, and uh, you'll be able to be amazed at how clean that motor is now. So, on my way to work on Wednesday, I called the tractor dealer to find out when the tractor was going to be fixed. It said parts would be in later today, worst case Thursday, should have it done. So, I didn't hear anything, and I called them up today, and they says, well, snowstorm's coming. We're working on snowblowers only, and I said, well, that's exactly what my tractor does for me. She says, oh, please hold. Well, needless to say, the tractor's done. They uh, would have had a big fight on their hands. in the garage here and take a look at the entire setup like I said they took this to a local shop and I tell you what it almost looks brand new Shiny hole right there is where the power lift mounts. And that little all thread nut allows it to kind of sit on there so it doesn't necessarily ride the axle when it's the tension is off of it. Yeah man, this looks really good. Can't believe how clean it looks. I guess that's what happens when you pressure wash them. Gotta put my wire back up. Put a zip tie on here yet. So, got work to do tonight before we take this bad boy out and blow a bunch of snow.
pin in, it will lift it off the ground. Next we got to put the chains on and the snow cap. Well I've got the canopy on, now I just need to add the fabric to it. I'm waiting on the wife to give me a hand. It's a little easier than by yourself. First time seeing me. I have a video that shows where I cut the uh, fabric out here so I can see all the way out. I added in more plastic. I also sewed these shut completely and I added this piece on the back back here for a little extra warmth. Nothing left but to put the chains on and take her outside. Well, that was a real fight to get that on. I'll save you the headache since it didn't record. But stay tuned. Come back, watch the next video. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you uh, with probably about 10 inches of snow and God knows how many feet of drift. We had, last week we had one inch of snow at foot drifts, and that was about 15 mile an hour winds, so this could get real interesting. Stay tuned.